destination that's further than the gate. The house is the way. The way is not the gate. Knowledge is your pathway to getting to the house. So once you walk through the gate, you're now acquiring knowledge, you're acquiring skill, and you're coming up with some form of an ability to be able to use it. All of that is just getting you to that one spot you really want. Once you finally get to the house, what do you do? You knock on the door, you meet the master, and the master lets you in the house. That is the way. We all have the ability to work magic, if you believe in such a thing. If I walk out the house and I walk down my street absolutely naked, I'm going to be seen. There isn't a spell in the world that's going to stop everyone from seeing my naked ass walk down the street. And the reason for that is because what I'm doing, I'm not even attempting, I'm not even trying to physically, in the physical realm, be invisible. Do you see what I mean? So there's no heavenly power that's going to help that. It's kind of like how many times I hear people like, you know, I'm down on my luck, I'm down on my luck, and, and I pray to God, you know, and he doesn't ever answer my questions. Well, when you're not down on your luck, do you pray then? Are you the kind of person that only prays when you're in trouble? People get pissed at, you know, the heavens, but they don't ever give any credit to the heavens in the good times either as well. You have to physically try to be as invisible as possible, you're going to be in the shadows where a blind attempt. And you realize that what you're going to do still has air. No matter how well I decide to dress in black and hide in the shadows and work on ninjutsu, shinobi iri, all this kind of camouflage and concealment, no matter how good I am, there's going to be air. We are human. We make mistakes. The spiritual practice the esoteric practice, the magic of Nimpo, helps that small line of error to come down to nothing. But it doesn't work if you're not giving all to yourself too. I highly suggest that you guys practice doing all of your stealth walking with your knife that you carry. I carry a knife with me everywhere I go. I train with a blade, I carry a blade. And I live in a state where I'm allowed to carry a blade. As someone trained in ninjutsu, you have home field advantage. You know the layout of your house better than anyone. You guys should be able to do every stealth walk in every room of the place you live, drawing that weapon effectively. Self-defense means self-defense. Self-defense doesn't mean against a chokehold or against a wrist grab. If you're truly training in Goshin Jutsu, if you're truly training in self-defense, that means you're trained to protect yourself and protect the ones you love no matter what the other person does.